So I'm like, day two, weightlifting, lower body strength, power days. First day was rep-ish day. Um, since we're doing strength training, and I don't wanna just crush myself, my back, my legs, anything, higher frequency stuff, rep-ish days might be sets of three, five, six, something like that. So we had doubles on cleans, heavy set of three on squat, which is a comeback Bihar, 473 or so. Um, cleans, I think I hit 115 kilo or something of that nature for a double. And today is kind of the heavier day. We got Mr. Untamed Strength in the house. As always, we're at Occam Athletics. Sacramento, California with the one and only Ben Claire Dad. I'm gonna do some squats, maybe work up to a single with some back up doubles or triples. Um, I've switched things around. My heavy-ish squat, or heavier squat day used to be Saturdays, but now I think that's gonna be my variation day. Saturdays will be squats, uh, pause squats, or beltless squats. Today is gonna be the heavy day uh, because we're going heavy cleans from blocks. So I think I'm gonna work up to hopefully a new max cleans from low blocks, uh, single push press, which shouldn't be too hard to beat my PR because I think it's around 270 ever in my life since I've only push pressed, I don't know, five, six times in my lifetime. And then uh, my back's feeling really good on the clean pull. So I'm gonna continue to clean pull uh, twice a week. So that'll be my pull. Basically full body workout. I guess if we really get after it, if you're really talking about body parts. Uh, common question, can you squat and deadlift on the same day? Can you bench squat and deadlift on the same day? Can you clean and squat and do some biceps on the same day? Yeah, basically what I try to do is I get a certain amount of lifts a week and how you break those up in the week, um, it matters, but it doesn't matter as much, right? So if I wanna bench three times a week, squat three times a week, and deadlift twice, that's more than the days of the week. So some of them are gonna to have to overlap. Uh, and right now, since the cleans are pretty sub-maximal for my overall strength, um, the squat volume is low, and uh, push press, same thing. Volume in general is low. I can train all of them pretty much all the time. So almost all my workouts, my three main workout days are full body, and then I have two kind of fluff days in between where I'm trying to hit some shoulders, some biceps, some cardio just to feel good. Uh, five to six days of training a week, feeling really sousy. So we're waiting for Mr. Untamed, I'm gonna warm up. Um, squat single, let's see what we got.
Come on, man. Come back, PR 132. And wait, why are we using kilos? Because we're in a weightlifting gym and there's kilos on the bar. Okay. What about Allen's gym? There's pounds on the bar, so I use pounds there. Come on, man. Let's go. Yep. 
Soak it in, ladies and gentlemen. Last day of the mullet. You're getting a cut? Getting a cut. I got a wedding to go to. I got to look professional. So I'm going to rock a mullet, or excuse me, a mohawk for about four weeks. And then the mullet will return. Talk to Alan about it. He said he'll give me a pass and he'll still let me back in the band when I'm back. So we did some weightlifting here with Ben 14 months ago or so. Um, some lingering back issues, some I'd lost a little bit of weight since then. Uh, just different goals, different time, different opportunities. So I took a little break, but uh, three weeks back? I think this is week three back, um, and I'm basically back where I started. My best ever is 135, I think, from the ground. And we hit 130 and then 132 today clean. Um, the heavier weights feel cool because I don't know what I'm doing, but heavier weights make me feel like I have to be fast because I can't just tug on the bar anymore. I'm no weightlifting coach, so I don't know these technical terms, but lighter weights, I feel like I could just pull, be lazy, get underneath it. Once I got to about 130, I felt like I really had to pull on that thing, and I'd be quick catching underneath. Felt a little heavy on the shoulders, but felt really good. Uh, squatted 506, I think 230 kilo, which is another comeback PR, and I think it was way faster. I have to check the video. Maybe Connor will put a side-by-side, -side, but I think it's way faster than the 496 last week, so it's another 10-pound mini comeback PR. I don't think I squatted 500 pounds. Maybe also about a year. So uh, things are feeling really good, man. Uh, my cardio is uh, good here training with Ben, but like my general cardio is just not as good as it was. I was doing 30 minutes a day. Um, but now when you train with Ben, Clary Dad, uh, he puts you through this, the ringer, man. He's, he's nonstop go, 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 which feels good because it uh, allows me to sweat a little bit, continue to feel warm. Um, Alan showed up, smashed weights. I think he hit a, a PR on his push press. Um, and then just he's slowly working up and he's clean too. He hasn't done that in a while. Ben's back, grooving. Um, he was getting ready for nationals. Decided not to do it. A bit of a slumper, which we've all been in. I've been in myself. You start doing monotonous lifts for a long, long time. You go through motivation, you know. He's still lifting. He never stopped lifting. But like how excited you get to lift, how much fun you have, how much passion you put behind each lift, each set. Um, it, it, it goes and flows like everything else in life. So it's a lot of fun training with Ben again. He's starting to smash weights. I think he had 150 off the blocks and he had a 150 or 140 kilo push press, which is freaking strong. So uh, good week of training. One more day left. We got some vacation coming up, so I'm gonna try to train as hard as I can here. Uh, I've looked up and I have some gyms on my vacation I'm gonna try to get. So it'll be whatever footage, but I'm gonna try to uh, get a little bit done while I'm there so you guys see it. At very least I'll put it on my phone and then Connor will throw it over a vlog. So uh, be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, catch you in the next one. I appreciate you guys. Sell them like, we're out.